All right, well, this is where your battery is for your clock. I can't get this cover back down in there, but I gotta get missing a screw and I need a battery. I think this was making contact or I don't know what I was doing with that. But I know the battery is iffy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So there she is. It is an energizer. 357303. I think that says 357303, yeah. If that's the right one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of. If it's the right one. Because that's a little sloppy. I don't know. Let's, let's try and look that up. No, well, it's got to be right because it sits in here sits in there and that kind of is what holds it in there. All right, gonna find a tiny, tiny screw for that. It's a good luck. And I better get a carb. I'm gonna, I can smell gas and I know it's the uh, bowl gasket that's leaking. So let's order up a kit for that. Let's make that two new screws because as soon as I moved this, it went that way. I heard it go tink. And what I thought was it was an ant and it was moving, so. That was not it of the odds. Look at that thing, it blends right in. I'm gonna have to steal that from another tiny electronic device. Right, we're gonna make this a clock battery replacement video now. Did I, um, all right, I had this off before. Well, let's move over here to the workbench. We uh, picked up the right battery, it's a 357. You can remember that because you probably have a Magnum on your belt right now, if you know what I mean, America. And, uh, yeah, so this battery's going to fit nicely in there. I don't know which one's top or bottom. Let me see. Probably have to look at the contacts. Anyway, and then I lost one of the screws. That's what all this crap is. This is, I found an old flashlight, and I broke it because I wanted the screws. And here, unfortunately, though, they're self-tappers, and I need, being a nice Japanese-made scooter, these are actually tapped. So, I mean, look at that. They actually are threaded. So, good luck finding a screw that size somewhere. But, uh, I'll see what I can do. I think we can put this right in there. I'm going to put a little bit of... I don't have anything but silicone spray on hand. But I just want to put something on those so it doesn't get all corroded again. So I'll just give it a little shot on the bag here I think silicone's fine I mean just we're just we're just glazing this thing okay and supposedly that's gonna make this clock work let's see or did I just put the wrong one in there did I just put the small one back in there I don't know did I <laughs> find out here in a second Right, so this goes like this because those openings have to be at the top. And our clock should light up, shouldn't it? I just put the dead one in there. It's a great how-to video, isn't it? How to not make it work. All right, take two. We're going to take the correct battery, put a little grease on it that I just previously sprayed right here. Just enough. I'll pop that in there. I believe it goes like that. Let's see. And I believe this is going to go like that. And I believe we should have a clock that works. Unless something has happened to my clock. Maybe I bought Amazon batteries that are dead. That wouldn't surprise me either. And action. Okay, yes. So the positive side of the battery is the flat. That goes down. Negative goes up. This goes like this. And then when you do that, your clock will work like it did three seconds ago before I picked the camera up. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, and then put your cover back on. 
I got obviously I have to put two screws in. But we got two on this side and one over there. So to take this off, it's just pushing that little clip in. See that? And up. All right. Good luck. And to make it a complete video, let's break it down. Hour adjust. Down the adjust. Remember this being real, I had to really push them. Hour minute adjust. Adjust. Hour. There we go. Jeez. Just a little touchy. Non touchy. You really got to push it. So holding down the bottom, pushing. This should take. Yeah, we're going to say it's 7.03 a.m., all right? So there's your full video. Enjoy. Uh, stick around for some more videos. I'm going to do the carburetor on this.